Vincent van Gogh used a paintbrush, Michelangelo used a chisel, but one British artist, Kiera Rathbone, uses largely obsolete machines for her artwork, typewriters. Well, once I've decided on the composition and uh, I know roughly what I want to include, then I'm just in the zone, you know? I, I just, uh, yeah, I know what I want to try and achieve but keep it open because I like, I like the, the unexpected elements to creep in. So uh, conversations with people, the wind, you know, it all kind of adds up to what's in the picture. She scrutinises the location, its shapes, textures, curves and composition, but translates this in terms of keyboard characters, letters and numbers. In her mind, she has a picture of what she's trying to achieve, but is always open to the possibility of capturing the unexpected. And once she is in the zone, slowly the scene on the page, as the typewriter carriage moves the paper up and down, starts to emerge. Uh, I'm always interested in sort of quite a, a nice sort of uh, lead-in. Um, people uh, milling around, because they bring the what would be just buildings to life so I'm interested in the life that flows around the buildings. The encounters and interaction with people also influence her perception. She surprises them and they often surprise her back by sharing memories or personal experiences evoked with the connection to the humble typewriter. How did you get this idea to do that? Um, uh, it's by accident actually. Her work has evolved over the years. She started with portraits, moved on to the eyes, and then had some very interesting commissions. But over time, she lost interest and now prefers more unpredictable street life scenes. Equally as impressive are her drawings of churches, piers, forests, and other landscapes. Many people who see her work displayed in a gallery see it as a drawing and may not guess how it was done, but after taking a closer look, they can see the image on a completely different level. 